Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Man 20 video, and today we got the next episode of the Browns theme team coming to you guys. Expect as soon as House Rules comes out for gameplay. I don't like playing head to head seasons, I don't like playing Weekend League. The game's just not fun to me. Otherwise, I'm like House Rules and fun game modes, so I'm not gonna play the game otherwise than that. But, um, as soon as that comes out, expect gameplay with the Browns theme team, possibly even with the main team. And, um, yeah, let's get right into the team. I'm also going to be picking up the brand new Joe Hayden that just came out today for you guys. At least when I'm recording, it just came out. This might go up in the next few days. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, the one of the first upgrades we got was a 91 overall Josh Gordon up to a 92 on the team with 92 speed, 89 jumping, 89 catch, 87 catch of traffic, 91 spec catch, 87 short route run, 87 medium, and 88 deep. It's really good. It's pretty good. I played with him a little bit. He's nothing crazy. It's okay. But, um, definitely helps the Brown team teams overall and stuff. I also we still got the same team. Baker, Jim Brown, Nick Chubb, Cream Hunt, Otto Graham, Jura Vicious, OBJ, Landry. I did get the full Joe Thomas on the team. He's rocking out with 91 strength, 91 awareness, 95 pass block, 91 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 89 run block power, and 93 run block finesse. He's going to help the team out. Obviously, we had Alex Mack. Showed him in the last episode. And Joku is now up to an 89, but a 90 on the team. He's got 85 speed, 72 strength, 83 catching, 85 catching traffic, 86 back catch, 82 short route run, 79 medium, and 76 run block. Um, at backups, Major Sarah set the valve. Backup alignment, obviously, Petonio, Schwartz, and Zeitler. Zeitler needs to get an upgrade soon. He probably will get a Christmas card. If not anything. Oh, and also guys, sorry about my voice, I'm sick currently, and, um, yeah, it's just, I, I had to grind out some videos for you guys, so, for the next few videos, I sound sick, that's what it is, and, uh, moving on to the defense, we made no changes to the defense, but we are going to be making a change right here with Joe Hayden, I have not picked up the card yet, hopefully he's decently, ch oh, we need, uh, training, I'm gonna go pick up some training, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I did pick up some training. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade Joe Hayden and we will see how much his car is going for. 286, I think that's just a little bit too much right now. I think I'm gonna wait, sit on the market, see how much he goes down to and get back to you guys when I have a good price on him. Okay guys, I am back. I did end up buying the Joe Hayden for around a price of 250K. I saw it up. I didn't want to wait much longer. I've been waiting for three, two hours, two, three hours at this point, and uh, I couldn't wait anymore. He went down about 30k in price, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and add him into the power up. And um, I have a great car still in right here. You know, he made 93 overall. Joe Hayden. We'll see what he looks like on the team. He is going to be up to a 95 overall. On the team, he's got 92 speed, 94 excel, 92 agility, 95 jumping, 96 player, 92 man, 91 zone, and 94 press. This car looks absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know why I'm missing a tier of lockdown on the Browns defense. Uh, it's probably because I have Mike Evans on my back of strong safety. Yeah, that makes sense. It's whatever. I mean, it'll get us plus one man, plus one zone, honestly. That's worth it over Mike Evans playing. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put where's Morgan Burnett? There's Morgan Burnett. We're gonna put Morgan Burnett in. Get us max 30 for 30 lockdown. Gonna help the team stats a lot. And then uh, we're gonna go to special teams and uh, at back kick returner. Go ahead and put Mike Adams in. Hopefully he should. There we go, Mike Adams. So we can sub him in if we need him. It's our backup kick return. He's on the team technically. We're all good there. But um, yeah, it's Joe Hayden's beastly. These corners are absolutely shut down corners. And um, yeah, that's all the upgrades we're gonna make the team. Now I'm gonna go over the chemistries. I did make some chemistry adjustments. I am obviously just still chilling with 52 out of 50 Browns chem, which is really nice. We got 30 out of 30 lockdown. I'm probably gonna change to um. It's called run stop and lockdown. So I'm gonna go run stop on my D line and linebackers. 
and then lock down on the safeties and corners. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Obviously, I on my offense, you might, might have noticed, I switched to zone run and go deep. This is more up for my main team, but um, on the Browns team, team is still in effect. Go deep is on all the receivers and the quarterbacks. Zone run is on halfbacks, O linemen, and my first two tight ends. Well, go deep is on. No, zone run is on all my tight ends. But yeah, go deep is on all my wide receivers and quarterbacks. You know, this will become much easier once we get later into the year, where we're getting like times four on players. But um, yeah, we got Sprinter right here, 16 out of 20. We got plus one in Excel, minus one agility, and plus one speed. I'm thinking about adding Bruiser, I think it is. No, Bruiser's the ability. I it's the bull. I can't remember what it's called. But um, doing that on O linemen, linebackers, and uh, defensive linemen. Just having a Sprinter or Shaker, either or on my uh, receiver, quarterback, and stuff. Thinking about doing that, maybe not right now. I don't think I have quite good enough team. And now I got Browns balance of offense up to tier five, which is nice. Uh, you get a lot of boost from that. The whole team, Baker got up to a 93 because of that. And um, one more thing, I believe, I believe we can get Joe Hayden up to times three lockdown cam. And I might have just like outsmarted the system here because what if we go lockdown? can get it, we uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refund this, get, oh, we're not gonna have enough training, yeah, we're gonna have to get training, a little bit of training, I'll be right back, okay guys, I'm too lazy to go by training, so I'm just gonna quick sell, Rod, what's a power up, and now we now have enough, go ahead and give Joe Hayden times three lockdown, we're gonna be able to re-add my gam to lineup and still have 30 out of 30, and uh, Morgan Burnett, like my all my safeties except for Tremont Williams. Tremont Williams doesn't play, but Randall, Brett Cruz, and uh, backup strong safety all play. Don't know why I clicked on that. Um, yeah, all of them play. So having a good backup safety is definitely needed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that once we throw lockdown times three on Joe Hayden. He's back up to a 95 because of that. Beastly card. So now we are able to take Morgan Burnett out. Oops. Nope. Jeez, I'm terrible as whatever. Throw Mike Adams in over him. And we are set. We got the whole Brown City team looking real nice. And, um, I just finished watching one of Poodle's videos. He went over the Raven Thief team. And, um, I just want to say my opinion on this. I don't think it should be considered a theme team if you're not using players with the team cams. There is a little exception. I think if you're using like a player who doesn't have a power up who played for the team, like let's say I went out and I got o Emmanuel Ogba, I don't think that'd be cheating because he played for the Browns. I think that'd be fine. But like if you have like I have 52 out of 50, 51 out of 50, I think if I were to like use, uh, I don't know, Larry Allen. Just because I need more offensive linemen help, I think that's stupid. I think that's definitely cheating the theme team ways, and I don't think you should be able to do that. I don't think it's considered a theme team at that point. It's just a normal team. Theme team, only that only players from that team or that played on that team. Yeah, I just wanted to get my opinion out there on that. Hopefully, some people see that and this, and they can go off what I said. This is my opinion. That's how I think it should work for a theme team. But, um, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe with Notice on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.